Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another form control that is drop down controls. Actually, in our form thing, so we have two types of form controls. So that means one is a drop down select box and another one is an auto complete box. Let's try to see those both things. First, we'll try to see about the drop uh, select box. First, we'll, uh, we'll see about the drop down controls. Drop down controls are a simple way to let the users select from many different options without taking up much space in the user interface. So that means so if you want the user to select the different options, so we'll be using these drop down controls. HTML has two forms for this drop down content. One is the select box and the other one is the auto complete box. We'll try to see about this auto complete box afterwards. First, we'll try to see about the select box. In both the cases, the interaction is the same. Once the control is activated, the browser displays a list of values so that the user can select between those options. So first one is the drop down uh, select box. So as all the people know about this um, select box, how the simple select box will look, look like is, let's try to create a example and we'll see it. We are trying to see about the select box dot HTML, right? Now I am creating a simple HTML snippet and in this one I will be having a form. So here I will be using the field set and in this one I will be having a legend. So first one we are trying to learn is the select box. First one is the select box. A simple select box is created with a select element. So we will be using the select element with one or more option elements as its children. Each of which will specify one of its possible values first we'll try to create the select box so here i'll be having a label and in this one i'll be using select select and the simple select box is created with a select element let's try to create a select element and it will have a name and also id so you can give it and in this select option so we need to provide an options which will contain one or more option elements as its children so let's create an option okay it will have a value attribute we'll try to see it so here i am creating the option and here i will create something like cherry and another one is banana and the last one is apple so these are the three options now the user what he has to do is so select fruit now the user has to select any one of the fruit from the given options let's try to see the output how it will look like effectively open this one here so here you are having an options in a such a way that the user can select any one of the fruit from the cherry banana and the apple so this is the simple select box how it will look like now here when you try to refresh it the default one selected is the first one okay i if i want banana to be selected as the default one means so what i can do is i can add an attribute to this option that is nothing but selected selected is a boolean attribute so upon which when you apply to this option so default one banana will be selected as the default one instead of cherry so this using this selected selected attribute on the desired option element so the option is then pre-selected when the page loads so this is the thing about the selected attribute now you understood about this simple select box now let's try to use the another uh, select box also has an another option that is nothing but option group so what is this option group let's try to see it so here i will be using another element something like this okay option select okay select uh, fruit group or something like this okay i will be having here uh, group or some something like this so instead of don't have so I will be creating name opt group and also ID opt group. So I can divide. So for example, let's say that we are having the uh, options and I want to group those options in a such a way that I want to group fruits in a separate, uh, a separate group and also vegetables as a separate group means I can use this opt group. So this is an element. So opt group and you can mention a label for this one. Okay, label is equal to fruits. Let's say that I'm having a fruits. And in this one, we can have these all option, cherry, banana, and apple. And now if you want, you can also have another opt group. 
so you can mention the label as vegetables so vegetables i am adding the vegetables in this one i can use the option something like carrot and another one is something uh, egg eggplant and i can use the potato so these are the three so now what i have did is i have divided into a group so that the first group all belongs to the fruits and the second group belongs to the vegetables if i try to see the output here the first one is simple select box now here the grouping is there so whenever you mention the option group with a label so an indentation will be there for those things so in order to have a clear implementation for this one without creating any confusion to the user so an indentation will be there so here the fruits label has all the options inside this whatever the options present in the option group so those are present inside the fruits and vegetables have separate thing still the user can able to select only one option so in those th in those options so a user can select only one options in order to have a differentiation or a uh, differentiation between the groups so you'll be using this opt group so you understood about this opt group, right opt group takes an attribute label attribute is displayed before the values of this nested options so before the values of this nested options so this label value whatever the label value you have mentioned for the opt group it will be displayed it so those that is not selectable so just it will give you as an heading now apart from this one so you have seen about this selected and if you want you can also have an value that is nothing but for example if i try to select this if i try to select this cherry and here i, have, I try to select this eggplant and if i give an button element let's try to see that i have adding i am adding a button so with a submit now if i try to submit a form i'm selecting first one as cherry and second one as a eggplant and if i try to submit this one so you will be able to see that the value is sending is the first one is a cherry and the second one is an eggplant so from where these things are say sending is the value so the content whatever the content is present in the option it is trying to send for example let's say that so if instead of still so i am writing here something like juicy cherry but i don't want this where this content to this text to be sent to the form instead of this one i want to send a say cherry so for these reasons i can use a cherry like this the value attribute what it will try to do is for every option the value attribute if it is provided means instead of sending this text content it will send this value to the form when we are trying to send it if i try to select this juicy cherry and banana and here the instead of sending the juicy cherry so whatever the value whatever the value whatever the text that is provided in the value attribute it will be sent here if you try to see still it is still it is sending the cherry value way because it is mentioned in the value attribute so that is the use of this value attribute for the option so this value attribute is only provided for the option only not for the select thing so now <clears throat> we have seen up to now the different types of select thing now if you try to see here so you you now if you try to see the drop down it is able to display only one value at a time so we are not able to see the multiple values at a time right so you have an another attribute with the name that is nothing but size so if you mention this size is equal to four means at a time four values will be shown so that the user can select one only one value only so the user can select only one value out of this in this drop down so in order to increase the size so if, right now it will it is displaying only one in order to show the more more than one value means we will be using this size thing size attribute so the last one in the select box what i want to explain is the multi multi choice select box so that means here if you try to see all the select box what we have created up to now it is it is show it is it is making the user to select only one option at a time what about if you if the user wants to select multiple items so if the user wants to select the multiple items means by adding the multiple attribute to the select element you can allow the users to select several values by using the default mechanism provided by the operating system that is nothing but control selection now by adding this select multiple attributes so if i try to provide if i try to add multiple attribute here whenever when, as soon as i add this multiple attribute here the user can select multiple options so a user can select the multiple options from this one by pressing control and a user can select multiple options here so that the user can set that we can send that multiple options to them so they are, and remaining all it will support so all the browsers which support the select box also support this multiple attributes it's without any problem so this is all about the 
what I can say about the drop down list. So we have seen about this option, option group, and also the select and also this multiple thing. So in the next video, what we'll try to do is we'll try to learn about this another type, another uh, representation of this drop down that is nothing but auto complete box. We'll see it in the next video. Hope you understood about this select box thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.